location for an owl box. <laughs> Bear! Bear is such a lover. The biggest owl box. Yeah. So I think the other ones must be must have been for the smaller, like tawny owl, is it? Oh, could be. We have loads of those around here. What I'm trying to attract is the barn owls ba yeah, yeah. back into the area because yeah. we used to have them, but hopefully this will two boxes up will oh, definitely, do yeah. the job. Well, they're a good sized box for a barn owl anyway. Like it should be. Prime real estate. Well, here's hoping we've created prime real estate and we're going to have, um, uh, in one or two years, I wouldn't, you know, next spring I won't necessarily believe we'll get both boxes full. So it might take a year or two. It was called planning ahead, chopping that ivy at the base. I think I did it last winter. It's definitely worked in our favor anyway. Well, and in the end, it'll work in the owl's favor as well. Very true. So from the owl's point of view, oh, yeah. you can see- Oh yeah, it's like a, a penthouse apartment. The great view right out because it's quite open from this big limb right up. So there's kind of a couple of tiers of branches missing. It's a perfect viewpoint for the owl right out across. So it can go way out across. So this is this big limb above that and where the lads are working. And it has that view. So if we don't have a resident owl, they don't know what they're missing. <laughs>
But yeah. Where does Leif and Little with the best quarter in here? Uh, kind of needs to be the open needs to be in an open area. So because it needs to, we need to put the little balcony on for it to land on, yeah. and also for the chicks, chicks to, to come out and fledge on. So it might be a bit tight back in there, like just they need to be able to see directly into into the the nesting spot, like into the door in order to encourage them to actually come in like the flat spot there is quite good like. so here Adam uh, in here yeah so don't go near that until they have everything cleared there Away from you towards yeah. towards James. Yeah. There. We'll have to go in further and up a little bit, yeah. We just need to get it roughly right to have a bit of wiggle room with the rope. Um are you gonna be moving the quad or can I tie it? You can tie it on there. Okay. I'm not moving it, I'm watching this. Now that's facing that way would be you're facing north um southeast northeast yeah no i think that should be quite good at least we won't have the prevailing wind blowing right in either like you know exactly don't want that So the fledgling ledge is in. Yeah. 